Being Utah local, one of the most common questions I get asked about the skiing areas is, which ski area is the best for beginners? Let me show you. Park City is an hour drive north of Salt Lake City. You do have to go up Parley Summit, and if there is a storm, please be careful. There are quite a few slide offs on this windy canyon road up to Park City. Be sure to arrive early because parking spaces do fill up very quickly, and then you'll be trekking in. Welcome to Park City, Utah. This used to be the canyons area, but then the Park City Mountain Resort bought it out and now they are combined and they have developed this area so much so if you're a beginner let me show you all of the runs here at park city that are perfect for you you might see some of my friends in this video alini victor and alia they are so much fun and i'm so glad i was able to go skiing with them today thank you alia for helping me out with the videography once you get to the top of the gondola, you're going to head to the right over to the magic carpet. This is a great area to kind of get your skis under you, get your ski legs back. And then you can head up to the Mellow Moose Run. I really enjoy the Mellow Moose, especially for beginners, because it allows beginners to take those wide curves that help slow things down, and there is plenty of room for people to go around you, so you're not worried about getting hit. After a few runs, we decided to go in, have a bit of lunch, and warm up a little. If you do want to eat at the lodge, you do have to make a res reservation beforehand. So make sure to do that, otherwise you're out in the cold eating. There are other skiing options. Park City is huge. And here is a map of all of the green runs that I suggest going on. We started by taking the Red Pipe Gondola from the Canyons Village up to the Magic Carpet and Mellow Moose Run. From there, you can take Blue Run, the next hardest level of skiing. You can ski all the way back down to the Canyon Village and take a tram over to the Super Condor Express. This is a great one for those with a little more experience but tr who are traveling with expert skiers because this lift has a mixture of both blue and black double black diamond runs. If you're looking for the easy way down on any of these lifts, then you have to follow the dotted lines. These will take you the easiest route and the safest route, especially for beginners. At the top of the Sun Peak Express, you want to make your way to the upper main line, then cut back over to Echo Run, which is a blue run that is quite long and really fun. If you get too tired, there is a shortcut back over to the Orange Bubble Express lift via the Boomer route. It is a very fun one to try your hand at zipping between trees without it being too steep. Going on the tombstone lift will also give you access to loads more blue runs that weave and wind their way through the mountain range. If you aren't an avid skier, however, these might be a little harder for you to sustain control all the way through the run because it does take quite a bit of time to get down this network of blue runs. As you can see, there are loads of beginner runs at Park City. And it is a great place for people to really exercise those skiing muscles and perfect their skiing game. I hope this helped and if you have any questions about Park City, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend because more the merrier. Happy powder hour y'all. See you in the next one. Bye.